This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. Okay, we're talking about children trying to understand number and to know what these numbers look like. And it's quite an abstract thing for them. Um, and a common, common mistake is, for instance, if we said to children, okay, I'm going to give you a number and I'm going to give you 1,247. And if you ask a lot of children, okay, what's, what's the bigger number there? What's the biggest number? And they will automatically go to seven. And we can understand why, because if you take the digits separately, then yes, seven is the biggest number. But what's useful is to use bottle tops to really show the children to get an idea that actually this is your thousands. So this is one thousand. You've got hundreds. These are your tens and these are your units or your ones. And for them to really understand that although you've got seven of them, this one is actually worth more. So you can use your bottle tops, right? And you can show them, okay, well, here's seven. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got my seven bottle tops. So this is actually physically what seven it looks like, okay? Um, but the, um, the tens, all right, you've got a group of tens, so you have just one ten is already going to be more than my seven bottle tops. Then here we've got a hundred in um, a string, and you can see that the way we put them together is we put them in groups of ten by colour, so it's actually quite easy for the children to count it. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, or they can actually count them individually they want to make sure that there are 10 there but then a thousand what does a thousand look like well quite impressive this is actually one thousand oh, bottle tops all in a line and a very very visual visual way to say to the children okay you you thought that this number seven is bigger than this, but actually when you look at it now, that's what seven looks like, and this is what a thousand looks like. So I don't think they'll forget this once they've had this bottle top snake wrapped around their necks. Okay, some of the resources that we've been um, using are bottle top counting sticks, um, like this one, so the children can use them for, for counting or for, um, for instance, multiplication using multiples or division for any of the number operations. Um, now hammering a hole in a bottle top is fairly simple and straightforward but a tip is if you have a tin then when you're hammering you've got somewhere for the nail to go so you're not making a hole um, in, a, in a table. So um, fairly simple you just put the, the bottle top on top, All right, take your hammer and your nail, okay and then you make a hole and although when the um, bottle tops are actually threaded onto here the children can't really get to the actual hole um, this can be a little bit sharp so one way that you can get around that is that you can if you turn your nail over all right and then you can hammer then you will actually flatten a bit of those sharp bits so they're not going to be so sharp for the children and then what you thread it on, um, you can use sticks, bamboo sticks are ideal, so you can thread it on to make counters. To stop it falling off at the end, you can use a little bit of um, sellotape. Um, you could um, make a small hole in a piece of cardboard and then put with a sharp nail though. And then you push that through. that through and that will actually make a nice little stopper. I have used bits of rubber from um, old um, inner tubes and things like that so that will actually make a, quite a nice little stopper at the end to stop the bottle tops from falling off when you thread them on. You can use string um, so thread them onto string and use a knot at the end to stop 
them falling off. Um, and the other one that's quite good is wire. Right, if wire is available, right, then wire actually makes quite a sturdy resource as well. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics, a guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.